Wow, everyone <laughs> with Twitter a rod has... up their ass this morning has a rod up its ass. Okay, do we? Okay. Good we... Lord, the rod up that man's butt must have a rod up its butt. <laughs> okay, the Stephanie Miller show apologizes for being the caller who is an unreliable witness. I knew that was wrong. It was uh, Sharon, Sharon Stone. Stone was married to the editor publisher. of the, the publisher, publisher of the. San Francisco paper Chron- the who was bitten and it was not by a monitor lizard it was by a Komodo dragon, dragon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and I, I don't I think what, I felt like what he was trying to say is that monitor lizard that was gang raped in India had it coming or something because they have venom and it bit uh, Gina Davis's husband's but okay it was Sharon Stone and it wasn't a monitor lizard and it wasn't a monitor lit okay and also uh, there are no Piggly Wigglies in Columbus <laughs> I know it was a joke They're about lousy when we, with Kroger. back in 1997. We didn't start in Columbus in 1997. That was the old show. Ah, we started in 2004. Also, although uh, you did, Steph, play, you, you were born in 1981. Wasn't it closer to 1881? No, no. And also, uh, Todd says just to let you know, Stephanie, the vacuum was a baby woolly mammoth on the Flintstones, <laughs> not God. an elephant. We are lousy with corrections. You'd think I would say all this, but no. Wow. Wow. Okay. Although, you did travel on the old, old show. Yes. I remember you did a show from the back of a Boston cab. You spent two hours in the back of a Boston cab. That was on the KFI show back in, like, 94. No, no. I, no, I ran the board for that. I remember all the technical difficulties. no, that was the KBC show. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And I, uh, right, I insulted it. (laughs) You did. Some guy in my producer screamed, you're shut up. They're going to kill you. I don't know. They I were about ready to kill you. Do not ask a pimp if they're a prostitute. <laughs> Who knew? I didn't know the, the pimp You need rules. to learn. I didn't know. I didn't know the rules. Okay. <laughs> that was not to be confused. I was thinking the cop drive-by I did. I wasn't there back for Back in 90. 90- I didn't work for you at KFI. Four, and I just kept, they let me do a cop ride along. And I, every time they stopped, I rent, came out of the car and I went, freeze. And then that was when my producer said, stop it. You're going to get killed. Stop yelling freeze at everyone. Yes. Why did they let me go? I don't. You often get killed on remote broadcasts. I've just, I've not survived. To. I've survived many. <laughs> you haven't things. done one with the whale penis yet. No. That's true. Yeah. Kevin in San Antonio. Hello. You're on with Jody. Um, no. No? no? All right. Christmas. Hey, mommy. Okay, here yeah. he is. Hi, Kev. Greetings. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Welcome to the Sebastian Gorka Show. <laughs> I, I have a question about, um, can we sue the GOP for supporting fascists like Adams here that is threatening oh. parents of children? Uh, what's that all about? Uh, I, don't, I, I actually don't I'll, know what you're referring to. You're talking about Eric Adams in New York? Or are you talking about no. Abbott? Oh, Abbott. Ed, I'm sorry. I was like, Abbott. what? Yeah, Abbott. Abbott. Oh, Greg Abbott. Yes. Abbott, the fascist governor of Texas here, wanting to investigate parents of gay children. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. What? That's when, fascism when, 101. Yeah, yeah. Well, these snitch laws, all yeah. of them, whether it's abortion or teachers. Yep. When did we become a nation of snitches? Like, you know, snitch out your teacher if you think they're doing this or if you think somebody might have had an abortion. I mean, it's just, ay ay ay. It, it's just creepy. Um, Kimberly Guilfoyle has met with the January 6th mm-hmm. committee. Let's hope she didn't blow it. <laughs> That's a cocaine joke. The best Allegedly. Is yet to come. Allegedly. Huh? The best is yet to come. It right. Is. The best. Yeah, right. Did she, did she speak that loudly? They're like, did she bring you, have a, a you have a microphone. Isn't this the second time she's been in yes. front of them? Yes. 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 Earlier yes. this year, she was asked to deliver information during a phone call with the committee, but hung up after she realized there were Democrats involved in the preliminary question. Right. Because it's a bipartisan yeah. committee. Yeah. So, all right. She's so dumb. Monday, she uh, cooperated again, I guess. More so cooperative? The, that. Something. It was the walls closing in and the screw tightening. You want us to steal third? What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Steal third. Lisa in Delaware. Hi, Lisa. Hi, thank Hi. you for helping me keep my sense of humor oh. as our democracy slips into fascism. Right. <laughs> yeah. Look well, at your whole gimmicks, you, know, you giggly. Yeah. <laughs> fascism oh, makes me giggly. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's serious. I'm reading that strongman book, and these whole, this whole, this, it's all in the playbook. You can go back to Stalin. Yeah. And yeah. some of the stuff that the GOP is doing now, it's right out of that playbook. Yep. But I have a better story than the Komodo dragon story. We will be the judge of that. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> story of lust. 
Okay, I'm 63 year old heterosexual woman. Woman, I seriously lost for Malcolm Nance. Yes. Thank you. For I lost for him, and I'm a 40 year old lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I oh, share yes. that love. He's just so dang smart. I know. And he's just such a good man. Yeah. And you know, he he. I, if I'm not mistaken, he went to the Naval Academy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And my father had a store in Annapolis. I I always joke with my husband. I could have had his babies. I could have married Malcolm. <laughs> oh, look my at him making knows. grown married women into giant whores. All right, I, well. I know. Mm. I know. So I know. I'm going to pray for him. And whenever he's on TV, my husband says, your boyfriend's on. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, All right. We, and send your love in light, Lise. I know. Yeah. I, you know, I admit, I, Jody, I'm a, you know, You're feminist, really strong, independent woman, big les. And I, I got lost on my Major Taylor bike ride and my bike boyfriend. Adrian found me. Oh, good. I, don't, I think it. every woman is susceptible to being saved by a hero. I don't care. I, I don't care how anti-feminist that is. I was lost and I was scared. And he found me. And he saved me. I think if you were a man that had gotten lost and he were a woman, I think it would have been the same thing. So it's not I a called gender him on thing. My, and he, I called him on my cell phone again. And he said, no matter what occurs, I will find you. Does he have find your Splash. friends on his phone? And I that's how he found I you? <laughs> I just told him where I was. I'm like, I somehow, I, there was pack behind me and in front of me. And I just, I somehow, I wasn't Ended up with the wrong paying people. attention. And I was like, how am I all by myself? What's how, happening? How many bicyclists are in the group? A lot. And you I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it. How? I lost because I lost the fight, the, the group. In front. First of all, it was 53 miles, 2,500 feet of climbing. I don't know what I was thinking of. You weren't. Oh, my God. How do you lose 40 people Anyway, at but once? there were people behind me. But I was in the middle. I would somehow lost both packs. How? I don't, because I'm a moron. Okay. Once again, she tried to get killed. Uh, yeah. I did not. Every try time you, try, you get I killed every time you leave the house. Yeah, no, I did not. Stop doing that. I did not. <laughs> I am alive. <laughs> Okay, uh, Jared Kushner is using his past work in the White House <coughs> crook, as an asset for investors in his new Invest in Affinity Partners investment fund. Um, they obtained a slide deck from Affinity Partners that pitches Kushner's experience cutting deals, oh. meaning taking $2 billion for looking the other way for bone saw murder. Or top secret Did information. Did I say that part out loud? Mm -hmm. oh. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, uh, if cutting deals with the governments of Russia and Saudi Arabia is something that should give investors confidence that their money will be well spent. Or if you want him to cover up a murder for you. Um, aren't we Allegedly. sanctioning people doing business with Russia? It's supposed to be. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. And he's pitching that as an asset. Uh -huh. As if, right. It's weird. Like, they're just transactional. All they care about themselves. They don't, they're not, uh, they're deeply anti-American. Okay. Which leads us to two statements from the office of the food. <laughs> this is why, oh, pardon me. This is why I ride so many miles on my bike and do so much climbing, so I have the lung power to get through. Oh. Statements from the office of the 45th president. Okay. This, is, this first one is, oh, we call for an end to the war in Ukraine. Oh, now a warning? Which he said, uh, let's see, he said, uh, it must happen before everyone's dead. Now a warning? This is a war that never should have happened, but it did. The solution can never be as good as it would have been before the shooting started, but there is a solution. It should be figured out now, not later, when everyone will be dead. Okay, that's the first statement. You know what would have helped if maybe he would have given the... Yeah. Okay, military mm -hmm. relief yep. Ukraine back kinda, instead of blackmail. Okay, yeah. all right. It's kind of common sense. Okay, this it? would be the second statement from... Now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Who's this? Uh, oh, he is. Put, Trump has posted an angry anti endorsement for the Arizona uh, Attorney General who refused to help uh, change the election results. Republican Attorney General Mark Brnovich. Brnovich. Wow, he needs to buy a vowel. Mm -hmm. It's literally B R N O. Brnovich. O oh, is a vowel. Brnovich. Yeah, but there's no. Burn. 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 He earned an angry anti endorsement from uh, Trump as he attempts to run for the U.S. Senate in Arizona. He did not intervene to stop the 2020 election win for Joe Biden in Arizona. Um, um, one Republican leader there said Mitch was nowhere to be found. It's a huge problem to Trump because his election loss was due to, quote, massive crime. <laughs> right. OK, so Trump tweeted, Attorney General Mitch of Arizona. 
was given massive information on the fraud and so-called irregularities that took place in the 2020 presidential election. Many people said he would do nothing about it because it just seems to be the way he is. I felt differently because the numbers and sheer amount of crime committed is so compelling, irrefutable, and determinative. If the election would have been the result would have been entirely different. We'll see. Uh, since then, Bitch has been uh, desperate. Pardon me. Excuse me. Bitch has been trying to get back in Trump's good graces. In January, he sent out a fundraising letter with a picture of himself and Trump saying, uh, don't miss your chance to be on Trump's team. He also announced that on the same day he would not investigate the fake electors who fraudulently used the seal of the state of Arizona. Mm -hmm. So he's doing the best he can. He's criming as best he, he is, can. He, is. he just didn't do the major crime. So that's not enough for uh, Trump and <clears throat> bitch. Pardon me. <laughs> Crimey politicians in Arizona have always been stupid. Just like stupid as, right. as far as the day is long. But it's like they're just so pathetic when they're revealed to be trying to have it every which way. It's like, okay, I don't want to commit a major crime that I'm going to go to jail for by, right, falsifying, yeah. or making up fraud in Arizona. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. not enough for Trump. It's like he won't investigate the crime of the fake electors. He's still sucking up to Trump and, you know, sending pictures of them together. And that's not enough, right? Right. Ay, ay, ay. Pathetic. Go down to Mar-a-Lago to kiss the ring. It's just... Okay. More than really kiss the do. ring. Pardon me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do a lot more. Yes.